What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Patrick from B Silver Studios. I just wanted to come around here and uh, show you how to build a uh, properly working helicopter engine. Now, uh, I've looked at all the best helicopters on uh, Besiege, and I kind of improved on uh, their designs. This is uh, what I've come up with um, for the most compact, simplest, most maneuverable uh, helicopter. So let me show you how to make it here. So first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to make a couple blocks here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to have some wheels, okay? Uh, without these wheels, um, we won't be able to turn. So the when the wheel of, um, uh, puts out a force, it's going to actually uh, put out an equal and opposite force on the block, which is what we want. We want the main uh, parts in the helicopter to actually move rather than the wheel itself. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing right here and connect it to this thing. So now if we go forward and backward, there we go. We can see that that's moving. So this is actually going to turn uh, the helicopter left and right. Um, I have some preferred controls which we'll edit later, but once we have that <coughs> down um, now we're going to throw on some ballast on either side because we're going to put some more wheels on. Okay, and We're going to control the helicopter in kind of all directions. So one here, one here, one here, one here. So now if we connect these two, um, oh also without this brace uh, you're just going to get independent wheel movement and it's not actually going to put a force really on the uh, <coughs> on the main rig. So make sure you connect uh, your wheels. If you're going to do like six in the back here, um, like this. <coughs> if you end up wanting more wheels uh, in the back, make sure you connect them to another one um, on the opposite side. And the other thing is, once you do this, make sure the wheels are going direct this the right direction. So this one's going around over to the right, and this one's going over to the left. So we want to switch that. And this should be going the same way, yes. So this should be going the opposite way. So this is going around to the right, and this is going around to the left. Let's switch that. Good. Um, so we're going to edit those controls real quick. What I like to use, if you look at your keyboard, I like to use B for where your pinky is, because it's a kind of a natural lie for your pinky. And then I, J, K, L. Um, when you have your hands here, it's easy to use the camera to move around while you're flying your helicopter, which becomes... Uh, problematic if you're trying to use two hands on the keyboard. So um, you can kind of operate it all from there. Let's uh, switch these. So this one again is going to uh, control turning left and right. So I'm going to use U and O and bump that up. We'll copy that. Paste that right there. Okay, this is going to control um, kind of forward, uh, was it pitch? Yeah, so it's going to control pitch. We're going to do I and K. Bump that up, copy that, and we're going to switch that over here. <coughs> this guy is going to control roll, left and right, and so we're going to do J and L. Bump that up, copy, paste. And again, if you have a bigger helicopter, what you can always do is add another extra one on either side of these, and then just connect the outside of those. So if I had another wheel here and on the other side, I would just connect those two wheels instead of these inner wheels. But I find that this is usually enough to, to fly um, any of the helicopters that I've made. So <coughs> uh, after that, what we want to do is connect a brace in here and in here because uh, there's a lot of forces being uh, emitted onto this uh, small rig here. And so what we don't want is we don't want it to fly apart. The other thing is we don't need this to have any particular weight, so let's just leave it at 20. Again, you can do this without any mods whatsoever. You don't have to go in into the what is it, BSG files and edit anything like that. No, it's super easy. Now, what I typically do is uh, um, most people will stack wheels, boom, 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 like this uh, to um, get better uh, uh, rotor movement. Um, what I like to do is I'll put two here. This is going to control the bottom rotor. Um, and we're just going to throw on, where is it, a swivel joint, right? Because there's going to be no motion um, causing that swivel joint to move. 
which is what we want. We don't want anything really happening there. Oop, that doesn't go there. And then we want uh, this to go in the opposite direction as up top. So this is going around to the left. This is going around to the right. <coughs> That's exactly what we want. So these two are actually going to, like this one, is going to be automatic. Okay, this is what this is. This is my breakthrough here. This is going to be automatic. Okay, this ca can cause the helicopter to hover. Okay, same thing with this guy. So if this is automatic, this is going to spin this guy at a certain rate. Okay, and then we can always speed this top guy up, uh, which is what I like to do. So if this is automatic, we don't have to worry about any of these keys. We'll bump that up, copy, paste it on this guy. There we go. And this right here, uh, we're going to um, use uh, up and down, which I have, uh, again, I said B, uh, as in Bravo, uh, and V as in Victor, for um, up and down. So you just have your pinky there while you're IJKL, um, and this is not going to be automatic. Okay, so to copy that, paste that right here. Again, when we, when we have a wheel moving, um, what we can do is we can use a brace to attach it. Okay. When this wheel moves, the swivel is not going to move, but we do want the swivel to move. And so let's throw some props on it. We're almost there. Okay. So that's pretty simple. Um, and we could figure out which direction they're going and, <coughs> and, um, and switch that up all later. So we need one more swivel. Um, and again, there are ways to uh, attach. I'll just show you that right now. Um, there are ways to attach uh, the rotors to um, a, a wheel, uh, but that will throw off. It will actually change the, the physics of what's happening, the torque, and everything else. So I don't like to do that. I like to use swivels um, as often as I can. But uh, if you were to um, want to have a wheel attached to um, one, of these, uh, one of these props here, uh, what you do is you would make a swivel uh, right about the area that you want the props to be um, and then put a wheel let's see if we can do it bummer there we go okay so make the sorry about that make the uh, make the wheel first right so once this is here you can actually take that off and uh, the props will attach to it. You can do small ones, big ones, and then you can always uh, reverse this back and forth from there. So let's get all that nonsense out of there. We actually just want this. Okay, uh, and there's two ways to start. Um, if you haven't played with the props before, you can start in this direction or in this direction. We always want it uh, lower profile, and you can switch the direction from there. So after you've placed it on, boom, now you can switch direction back and forth. Okay. Um, Let's throw in another swivel, okay, and this one is actually going to be for the bottom one that we were talking about earlier. So the bottom wheels, um, instead of having an inter uh, intermediate wheel here that is allowing one uh, the top bottom wheels to spin this way and the top wheels to spin this way, um, we don't need that. We can get rid of all that stuff by actually just throwing the wheels on the bottom. And usually the people build like big bodies to helicopters, so if you throw this right in the center, like it, it doesn't even look like it's there. Um, and again, we don't want that. We want these here. Don't worry about them being the same direction. Um, and we're going to switch these just to see what happens. All right, so there we go. Um, once again, let's do a, just kind of like a double check of everything. I want to connect that guy to that top. All right, so these two will control roll this way these two will control roll this way I'm sorry this is pitch um, and uh, these two right here will control spinning which is I think yaw um, and then these two and these two these two will, will spin this guy one direction and these two will spin this guy the other direction now the reason you see like double um, props on uh, on helicopters is because of the forces we were talking about earlier are equal and opposite. So if this is spinning just one direction and we only have one uh, here, it will actually constantly spin this guy out in the opposite direction. So you have to have um, 
like another force out here somewhere which is resisting um, which is resisting that movement which is typically what helicopters in real life have um, but we don't really have a way of stopping that and alternating the speed of this with alternating the speed of this so you, you don't get a lot of control in uh, besiege with doing that the way around it is building another prop which goes in the opposite direction <coughs> and which actually changes um, changes the uh, uh, the spinning forces to neutral so you, you just get like a smooth uh, hovering motion um, all right so let's uh, let's press play and see what happens Oh, there we go, we got lucky. But if we press play and it's going down, then what we want to do is we want to look at these guys. This guy's spinning, uh, the lower one's spinning to the right, and we want to make sure this uh, top of the fin is upwards. So as it comes around to the right, it's going to catch the air and push the air under it, which pushes this up. It's all about equal and opposite. Um, so these should be in opposites. Um, if if, uh, if when you press play, it's going in the opposite direction. Um, just uh, reverse one of these two wheels or reverse the um, the fin direction okay so as you notice it's turning a little bit to the right um, there is and I can't explain this but uh, usually with uh, oh shoot my mouse went out um, usually with uh, this type of guy right here uh, this tends to spin a little bit more. So as you can see, it's rotating around to the right. You see that? So it's rotating around this way. So what we want to look is at the, the fin that's going the opposite direction, which is the lower one. Okay, The lower one's spinning to the left, which will spin the body to the right. Um, this guy is connected to the lower one. So what we can do is we can change this automatic to, like, I think it was 1.85. Oops. Sometimes you have to press play a little bit. Uh, so now you notice it's starting to spin to the right. So what we want to do is maybe it was 9.5, There we go. So it's it's kind of more centered now. So uh, just change the automatic one because um, it, it emits a different force. Maybe 1.98. No. Let's go to 1.95. There we go. So it's it's perfect, uh, perfectly up and down right now, pretty much spinning a little bit. So we could do 1.96 maybe to try and bring it around the other way. But uh, that's a good way to balance it. Um, if you make if you change any of the wheels and stuff, you'll you'll you may have to balance these guys out. Um, not this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, uh, or this guy and this guy, depending on which way it's spinning. Uh, and then you, ju you can just balance it out that way. It's the same as ballast if you're trying to get your center of mass. Uh, everything with helicopters is all about center of mass. So if you're trying to get the center of mass, um, at least uh, in the sagittal plane here, if you're trying to get it right in the center, which it is, it's right in the center of the, the width here, um, that will create a very balanced helicopter. Uh, usually people build symmetrically on either side, so you don't really have to worry about this one. But you, you do want the center mass to kind of be right smack dab in the center here, or else uh, there tends to be issues and you get a poorly balanced helicopter that doesn't fly well. Um, the other thing I want to mention is the swivel joint here. Okay, um, Because these wheels will be spinning, I will put a swivel joint on the outside and I will connect those swivel joints because now we have a frame. Okay, You can connect them to whatever part on the swivel that you want. I like to connect them on the sides here because they're not too in the way. Boom. Okay, So now we have... Oop. So what I realized is uh, my, I didn't test out um, IJKL and so these guys are backwards. So we'll just rotate those. Do a test there. Good. Left and right. Good. Roll. Oop. Yep. Oh, it's all good. Okay, so let me open my other one, because it's already there, and you can see it's the exact same, except the top ones weren't the problem, it was the bottom ones that were the problem, because I connected these wheels to actually this top guy, and these wheels to this bottom guy, so um, the balance here on this guy was 1.91 and uh, 1.85. Um, and that's it, so that's 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 the thing, so let's, uh, let's recap here. Um, we started with the starting block. We put, uh, we sandwiched it with two wheels, right? That's going to control the uh, left and right. Um, 
uh, yaw, I believe, and then uh, this sandwich, uh, we had to put um, some uh, light ballast uh, to just create space uh, so that we could put other wheels on the other sides, which are the pitch and roll. Uh, and then we have two wheels here and two wheels here, which control the spin of this. Um, this wheel is automatic. So I press play, I don't even have to press anything, right? The heavier helicopter is going to be a little bit weighed down, or you could balance it out perfectly if you want. Um, and you can always change the values of these guys, right? If, depending on if your helicopter is lighter or smaller, or what you want it to do. If you want it to just sit there before takeoff, um, and then boom, you press the button and it goes faster, faster. Um, you can cut the engine however you want uh, with uh, V, remember? Right, we set that. And uh, it's fully functioning and flying. So there you go. That's, uh, that is how to build um, a functioning helicopter engine and make it move efficiently. This is the same engine that I put in my, well, very close, um, that I put in my Sky Shark, which is, uh, I put up yesterday. It's uh, quite popular already. I encourage you to check it out. But it just balances perfectly midair, and it just hovers, kind of like a shark in water. Um, and you just build the frame around it. So build whatever you want. Use this guy as a starting point, or use those tips that I taught you to um, to go build something amazing. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe, like, do all that shit, um, and uh, post um, uh, post to this page uh, what what kind of vehicles you made out of this. So um, thank you very much for uh, for watching and listening. Um, Sorry, I kind of have a cold right now, but uh, I very much appreciate uh, your views. And uh, any other questions you guys have about building stuff in uh, Besiege or little tips and tricks, um, go ahead and shoot me a message. All right? Thanks, guys.